Goeiedag, mijn skapies. Ons gaan nou braai. What a crazy day. Boys, let me tell you, what a crazy day. So, let me give you a bit of background. My daily job is an animal welfare inspector. So that basically means is I help animals and we prosecute people that abuse animals. I do not chase dogs and catch them. I'm not a dog catcher. Don't start to that. I'm an my officer of the law, okay? I'm an inspector. Shut up, chair. Uh, so basically, and every now and then, we, I, we, our officers, or whatever, but this was an after-hours call. This was on my way home. Uh, get calls about wildlife that we need to help. And um, this specific character... Let me... The specific character of here, now I'm just looking at my closet. Wow. The specific character of here was in someone's yard and uh, they needed help. So I went out. So this is called a liquor van. Um, the English word is a lizard, which is weird because lizard tra translates directly to akadis. Back into Afrikaans is an akadis. And an akadis translates to gecko. Like for us, an akadis is just this big. And for you guys, over the seas, a gecko is that big, right? And a lizard is usually that big for us. And for you guys, apparently lizards are those huge things, right? Okay, any case, I'm getting off the topic here. So I went out, I struggled for about 20 minutes. He was under a pile of um, wood and stuff, got him out. Um, it's not the biggest one I've caught, but it's the second biggest one. So, in size comparison, you'll see it now, but, um, yeah, so, okay, so I got him out the yard, they took video footage of me carrying him away, because this was an epic moment in their lives, I guess, <coughs> and this, <clears throat> he scratched me, so it's not that bad, but it does hurt, you know, and um, the claws are dirty, so it can cause an infection, luckily I did treat it, I don't know what's in store for me tomorrow. But I look like a junkie. Okay, any case, so he scratched me. I was trying to get the camera to focus, but that didn't happen. Now, I'm gonna... The, I'm at the, at the release site at the moment. And okay, okay, for you critics out there, just hang on. The papers over there, the papers. Give me a break. I was on my way from work back home. Not planning on catching any wildlife. Uh, so there was papers in the back from a bag that spilled out and yeah okay okay I have a hard job I was lazy to take it out okay so it was in there at the time of the capture so yeah I have him in the back okay so there you can see uh, that's a weird pause position because it looks ugly oh well just leave it so he's a bit bent and folded and stuff his tail comes up to here so it's quite a large character, okay? It's not a small thing. Now I'm going to attempt to take him out, but the camera is shaking, so I cut some bits out. But at the attempt of taking him out, um, he attacked me. I was just trying to show it again because it felt like the camera was out of focus because the sun was glaring on the lens. So, or you can just go with I showed it off, okay? Showing off my bruises. Okay, there we go. Let's try to take him out the vehicle here. Yeah. At the vehicle, pickup truck, bucky, as we would call it, a bucky. I forgot about special. Damn it! I'll do it. I'll I'll do that now. <coughs> I'll just put this in the front. Goeiedag, my skapies. Ons gaan nou braai. Any case, so. <laughs> so stupid that's so stupid you know you always suggested that and that's so stupid but so cool thanks any case <laughs> uh, i lost my channel for you. okay so i took him out the vehicle um this is a like barn okay and they are tough tough as nails you can drive over the, the car they will stand up and then walk away they are so tough any case got him out the vehicle but i had to grab him by the tail because they bite and they've got some bad bacteria in their mouths as well in their nails. So they bite and they, they can break your leg. Not this one, 
but bigger than this, they can surely break your arm, break your leg, break a hand when they slap you with the tail. Okay, so you've got to be careful. So you grab him by the tail. And then you grab him behind the neck like a snake. And then you carry him like this, right? Um, so I gr grabbed him behind the tail. But I had the camera in my hand. So I'm like, okay, damn. Got to put the camera down. So I pulled him towards me. And I wanted to get it in shot. And I wanted to put the camera down and grab him behind his neck. And just let him go and quickly get out the camera to see, watch him go. That didn't happen. Because as soon as I started pulling him towards me. He said, I'm not having it. And he attacked me. But luckily I have cat reflexes. I got out the way. There we go, there he goes. Shit. Okay, so the reason why I said shit is because at this moment you know there's trouble because he's gonna go to the engine bay. Okay. And when he's in there, <clears throat> that's trouble. Okay, so that is trouble because he went into the engine bay. Right? He went straight in there. There's not video footage of any of that further happening after this. Because I couldn't get any. But, um, so he went into the engine bay. But um, I opened the engine bay and he was on top of the tappet covers, right? And I had the bonnet in the one hand and I wanted to grab him. But his tail, he was in the right position to slam the living daylight out of me. So I wanted to grab him and just chuck him. You know, just to get him away. Because if he gets in there, it can be days. It can be hours, minutes, days, years. Maybe maybe even centuries. This video is getting way too long. Way too long. But this is important stuff. Okay, so he's in the engine bay on top of the tappet covers. I wanted to grab him. He runs down. Now he's in there on my skid plate. I can't get him out. So I decided to drive forward. Um, maybe he will decide to go backwards because he was grabbing the ground so I couldn't pull him back and grabbing inside the engine bay so I drove forward checked he's still there turned around there were the grass was way too long thorns everywhere in my knees in my elbows everywhere turned around drove back because if you enter the river road there's like this huge hump so I thought I'm gonna pull up to that hump then I have bigger clearance because it's the hump and the road down here so you have more clearance so I can get in there grab him bite him and just throw him when I got to the hump he was gone I'm like okay maybe he got off no 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 I opened the engine bay again just to check he climbed in between the radiator and the bumper that part over there now he's there oh geez it took us another hour I had a couple of farmers that came out of their farm and they came and helped me. The one guy grabbed him through the arch. It was it was intense. Threw the arch by the back of the neck and plucked him out of there and just threw him, chucked him that side. Being an animal welfare inspector, I didn't want to manhandle him, but this guy did. He grabbed him and he gone. So that was it. But that entire episode was about two hours. It was hectic. But any case, guys, sorry if this video is way longer than I expected. But, um, yeah. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a vlog series test 101. Episode 1, hashtag 1. Let's do it. Okay, guys, see you guys in the next video. Cheers.